Hello and welcome to yet another uh, Equity for Kids video. Uh, the breaking news now is that uh, Pfizer and BioNTech's uh, COVID-19 vaccine is, has been reported uh, to be 90% uh, effective. Um, so we just want to update you. You may have already uh, found out yourself. So some of the piece of news here says um, um, President Trump on Monday, today the 9th of uh, November 2020, welcomed Pfizer's uh, IC's experimental COVID-19 vaccine results and the stock market boost is, is uh, it, brought, it brought, sorry, okay, stock market uh, up big, vaccine coming soon, report 90% uh, effective, uh, such great news, he said in a retweet. Yes, the, the um, um stock futures are so high up let me let me get it let me, let me get it for you get it for you um let me see if we can get it here i know that uh the um the russell 2000 um uh, pre-market uh the, the russell 2000 index jumped about um, 100 points in just 10 minutes um uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, Dow Jones, yeah, the futures, let's see. Um, okay, but that, that aside, let's uh, just quickly um, cover what we we're covering. Yeah, but um, yes, a lot is going on now out there. Um, there's some positive news going on. Let's see what uh, Donald Trump is going to make uh, out of this. Especially now that he's challenging um, the results. It might be a, um, a good advantage for him. Okay. Um, so the other one is uh, BioNTech. BioNTech is uh, BNTX. Okay, BioNTech is up 22.83%. Okay. Let's... Uh, see whether we can digest more news on uh pfizer there's some more news from um okay let's see if we can a lot has changed since uh <laughs> we confirmed that uh okay let's see as a stock okay let's see what um, they're saying here on market watch yeah BioNTech Pfizer stocks soar after COVID-19 vaccine candidate achieves their success in first analysis shares of German based uh, BioNTech shot up 23.4 percent and Pfizer um, 0 0.0 jumped 11.5% um, in pre-market trading today, the 9th of November 2020, after the company said their COVID-19 vaccine candidate achieved success in the first interim analysis from phase 3 study. The company said uh, by DNT162B2 vaccine up candidate was uh, found to be more than 90% effective in preventing COVID-19 in trial participants without previous evidence of uh, SARS-CoV-2 infection. The company said they are planning to submit for emergency use authorization to the Food and Drug, Drug Administration soon after the safety milestones are met. What is uh, uh, currently expected in the, in the third week of November? Today is a great day for science and humanity, said uh, Pfizer Chief Executive Dr. Albert Bola. The, the first uh, set of results uh, from a phase COVID three uh, f from a phase three COVID nineteen vaccine trial provides the initial confidence of our vaccine of our vaccine's ability to provide COVID nineteen to prevent um, COVID nineteen. BioNTech shares have uh, soared one hundred seventy one point six percent year to date through Friday, and Pfizer stock has lost seven percent, while the S and P five hundred gained again at eight point six percent. Okay. So um, we'll just quickly digest um, what's going on uh, with equities because you know it is mostly what we do. Um, so it's you can see the news is all over the whole place. Um, yes, 
let's quickly digest um, the details uh, for um, Pfizer and then we'll just go on and uh, quickly digest that of uh, BioNTech It's a large cap of two hundred two billion dollars, five billion, five point five billion dollars are, uh, are on float, and it says uh, um, Pfizer appears to be consolidating within a longer term uptrend. Okay, although the ADX or average direction index is uh, below twenty. Okay, longer term. Okay, well, I don't, I don't see a longer term or within a longer term uptrend. Okay, consolidating within. It's not saying what. Okay. Although the okay uh, indicating that shares have exhibited sideways movement recently, both uh, the 210-day moving averages are falling, which implies that the overall trend is lower. Uh, so that issue is it's lagging the S&P 500. Momentum for Pfizer is improving. The 14-period slow stochastic oscillator is rising as investors begin to purchase uh, shares. The unbalanced volume indicator is bearish. The slope of the indicator is negative and suggests that uh, there is a lack of buying interest. So this is a mix of uh, things, a mix of um, metrics. So you can see uh, what's going on now. So we are looking at, um, it's currently at 40.85. So it is, uh, at this price now, it has taken a breather, you know, so um those who have been trading the uh technicals who have been watching the technicals you know they would have seen that um, it is currently as at was at way closed on friday november the uh, 6th it is below all the intermediate and short-term trend lines that is the 10 day whatever it is it's below the 20 feet see uh okay it's saying here it crossed above the uh 250 day moving trend line but it crossed above it but it did it, it not it closed below it it closed below it you can we can we can evidently see that you can see what it says up there it says that 639 at 36 the price of the 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 the, the price point of this uh, the 50 day moving average is the 36 dollars 69 and it closed at 36 dollars 40. so as you as you can evidently see so um uh, yes, if for those who are uh, uh, who trade the technicals, who observe some of these uh, sort of uh, uh, movements, they would have noticed that um, it might be on a buying opportunity in the short term. And um, if they did, you know, this is definitely a reward because what's going on now would have would have uh, you know you know blessed them with um, some uh, reasonable amount of gain. You know, so we're talking about. Um, so this is uh, it's definitely more than 10%, uh, more than 10% gain as things are now. Okay, so let's quickly um, di um, digest that of uh, BioNTech. BioNTech is um, is uh, a different, much more uh, uh, equity. So I noticed that um, you can see there's a, f a big float of 5.5 million. We we uh, we we've been um, observing that um, or, you know, uh, or been, we've been trying to point out to the fact that a large float can um, be a, a a drag to uh, price um, um, to momentum because it would take a lot of money to buy to move um, the value of the stock because you know um, there's a lot in, in place. So look at that um, because the, the demand can easily be satisfied. You know, can look at see it's only uh, 5.7 million at the moment so well it might be a good uh it, it yeah 5.7 5, 5 million at the moment so um things are gradually picking up and so it, it could, it's its average volume is uh for 10 days about 27.6 million so so it's not that bad it's just the market is ha the market hasn't opened yet and uh, so far it's already uh it has already done 20 uh, percent or thereabouts okay so let's uh uh, move on to BioNTech, B, B, N, T, X.
okay buying tech you can see is up uh, it closed at 92 dollars and it's up to 100 uh, um it's up to 111.93 down here so 931k has uh, traded so far in the pre market so you can see um what would that be that sort of gain will be um yeah, close is also close to ten percent increase. So it's a it's a mid cap of twenty one point nine billion, and you can see it's a, it's a shares uh, the float is only two hundred thirty eight point one seven million, smaller than that of uh, its partner um, um, Pfizer. So it's easier this 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 stock should uh, it should react more to this uh, positive news. Okay, and um, its average 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 float is about 1.9 million. So what are we looking at here? Okay, 900. It's almost approaching that average uh, volume. Um, okay, you can see that even in the, even in the in the U in Europe as well, shares are skyrocketing as well because of uh, of uh, this positive news. Okay, and then um, trend analysis um, for BioNTech appears to be cons it, it appears to be consolidating within a longer term uptrend. Shares are presently above the 200-day uh, moving average, which is rising along the 10-day moving average. However, the average directional index is below 20, indicating that shares have exhibited sideways moving movements uh, re recently. Okay, so yeah, it did, but um, of late, that's the last thing that has happened. There's uh, um well it's still bullish momentum for buying tech is strongly bullish the 14 period slow stochastic oscillators rising as investors pay higher prices for shares okay the um, the the unbalanced volume indicator is bullish the slope of the indicator is uh, positive and suggests that uh, buyers are presently more active than sellers Okay, Bollinger Band squeezes tend to proceed. Okay, so uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. Let's see if we can um, um, find out. Uh, yeah, you can see um, this is not, um, we can't um, find uh, what's going on in the pre market. How I wish we can find um, with the, Dow the Dow futures at the moment not uh we're not we can't see that at the moment but it's um close to twenty nine thousand six hundred we can this is uh this is a lot this is not the futures this is uh, the real thing itself um let's look at market insight and see whether this goes it's gonna say anything so we can see uh so this is uh, this is this is quite old. So, but in any case, though um, the markets are reacting positively um, to the news that um, um, the vaccine um, uh, from uh, BioNTech and um, Pfizer is ninety percent effective. Okay, we just uh, felt we had the need to update you. So, if you're new to this channel, subscribe, like, and share. And if you're already subscribed, thank you very much for watching.